Welcome back to UAD Basics. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use presets to save and recall settings in console, from plugin and channel strip presets to full console sessions. Whether you use them as starting points to get you closer to the sound in your head, or as a way to save your own commonly used settings to streamline your mixing or tracking workflow, presets come in handy at just about every stage in the music making process. Apollo's console application offers three different ways to save plugin and channel settings to help you get great sounds in record time. Plugin presets let you save and recall settings for a particular plugin, while channel strip presets let you save and recall settings for a chain of plugins loaded on a console channel. And console sessions let you save plugins, settings, and routing for all of your console channels at once. Let's start by taking a look at plugin presets. When you load any UAD plugin into console, you'll see a presets button in the toolbar at the top of the plugin window. Click this button to open the preset browser, which shows all factory and user presets for that particular plugin. All UAD plugins include a full set of presets from expert engineers, producers, and plugin designers, so even if you're using a plugin for the first time, you can load up a preset and get great record ready sounds. Presets are also one of the best ways to learn how to use a plugin. Just click on the preset name to load it, and once you find a preset you like, start tweaking the controls to learn what they do, and you'll quickly get a feel for how to set the plugin up yourself to get the sounds you're after. When you find some settings that you like, click the presets button again to save them as a custom preset that you can recall later. In the preset browser window, you can click the new folder button to create a folder where you can store your custom preset. Then click save to name and save your preset. The next time you load the plugin into console, you can recall your custom settings by opening the preset browser and clicking on your preset in the list. You can also load custom or factory presets in your DAW by clicking the folder icon in the bottom left corner of the plugin window, selecting Load Preset and double clicking on the preset name. Now, sometimes you'll need to load multiple plugins on a channel to get the sound you're after. This is where channel strip presets come in. These presets let you save and recall settings for multiple plugins at once on a single console channel, as well as preamp settings. And just like plugin presets, there are a ton of channel strips included in console to help you get great sounds fast, without needing to be an expert on each individual plugin. These channel strip presets were designed to be as accessible as possible and only use the Analog Classics plugins that are included with all Apollo and Arrow interfaces, so you don't need any extra licenses to use them. To load a channel strip preset, click on the inserts label at the top of any console channel to open the channel preset browser. Then click on one of the presets to load it. Channel strip presets are organized by instrument, so whether you're recording bass, drums, guitar, keyboards, or vocals, you'll be able to quickly find the presets that you need. While channel strip presets are capable of saving Unison plugins and preamp settings, most of the included factory presets do not use the Unison insert slot so that they can be loaded and used on channels without preamps as well. But if you load a preset that includes a Unison enabled preamp plugin, you can simply drag the plugin up to the Unison insert to get the full effect. Note that you may need to adjust the channel's input gain depending on how loud or quiet your input signal is. From here, you can adjust each plugin's settings or even swap plugins out to tailor the sound to your liking. And when you find a combination of plugins and settings that work, you can click the inserts label at the top of the channel to open the browser and save the channel strip as a custom preset. Note that the current preamp settings, including input gain, microline status, high pass, phase invert, and phantom power, will be saved with the channel strip preset, even if no Unison plugin is loaded. Once saved, you can recall the preset from any console channel. Finally, let's say you've set up plugins and routing across multiple console channels, and you want to save the whole console configuration together so you can recall it later. For example, to create a drum tracking template to cut down on setup time when you go to record. You can do this by saving a console session, which saves all plugin settings, channel settings, and routing across every console channel, including input levels, fader levels, sends, and channel labels. To save a console session, click on the sessions label below the monitor knob to open the sessions window. From here, you can save the current console configuration by clicking Save As and naming the session. To recall this session later, open the sessions window and double click on the session name to load it. The currently loaded session name will be displayed at the top of the console window, and if any changes are made, an asterisk will appear to indicate that the changes are unsaved. To save the new changes under the same session name, simply open the sessions window again and click Save. Note that global settings such as monitor levels, queue routing, and hardware settings are not saved with console sessions. 
Whether you're just getting started and want to learn how the pros use UAD plugins, or you want to save time by creating your own starting points and templates, using presets in console will help you get the sounds you're looking for faster than ever with repeatable results that you can count on every time you go to record. Check out our other basics videos to learn more. And be sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any tips and tricks. We'll see you next time.